All right, everybody, it is Wednesday evening, and that means we have some items going out tomorrow. Um, this is, um, I, I want to be open with y'all and let you know that I'm probably two, two weeks behind or so by the time you see this because it takes me a while to get footage done. But, and we actually sold two Halloween inflatables today that we just picked up um, last night at Walmart. You know, right after Halloween, all those inflatables and costumes and stuff go half off. And we saw that these things were selling really good even after Halloween. So we picked up a cart full of these things. But um, we had a total of 16 items going out. And we have one item that we can't find can't put our hands on it right now. It's an Amazon item and we only have like two places where we keep Amazon items and it's in neither place. And the thing is, we only have one of them and we haven't sold it before. So where did it go? <laughs> did somebody sneak into the shed and steal it? I don't know, but I have no use for it because I have no hair, but we'll talk about that later. First item up is over on Amazon where we had two orders and it is a PS4 Ghostbusters game. And I believe my wife just picked this up and I don't know what she paid for it. But this sold for $25.80 on Amazon. Next up on Amazon is the item we can't find. And it is some Remington Pro or a Remington Pro Pearl Ceramic Hair Setter. It's like... Um, curlers some kind of curlers and i'm pretty sure we picked this up at walmart on clearance and it sold for 45.94 but y'all i don't know if somebody broke into the shed and took this or what my wife came in went to the tote where it was supposed to be and it's not in there she's trying to blame me for moving it i don't know i don't recall ever seeing the item and as you can tell with this amount of hair i have no need for curlers so i didn't take it don't know where it's at. I hope we find it because um, I don't want to cancel a $45 order, right? So, got my fingers crossed on that one. Um, hopefully, we will find it. Now, we're going to talk about the two Halloween items that we just picked up last night at Walmart. These things were they're clearly marked $34.98. So, they were half that. So, I mean, we paid, what, $17.00? pretty much for these things and this is one of them this is a uh, ron weasley from harry potter and there's a hermione granger from harry potter also these are four and a half feet tall and each one of these y'all sold for 74 dollars with free shipping so i'm gonna save shipping on these because these are going to the same person how awesome is that so i can put them both in one box and ship them for one fee and um, I actually reached out to these folks because we got more than Hermione and Ron. We got some uh, Voldemorts. Oh, I'm not supposed to say his name, but yeah. We got some Voldemorts and we also got some Harry's. Um, we actually listed like a set of four of all four for like, I think it was like 230 some dollars or something. But nobody's hit on that yet. But y'all, it's been one day. Um, and like I said, they're in in these two for $148 all together and we're in them for about $35 so great pickup great sale I did not expect to sell two of these so fast but let's hope the other ones go off the shelf too y'all um, those Halloween items Christmas items and stuff like that when they go 50% off 75% off it's a great time to pick them up if you've got somewhere you can store them because you can sell them the next year you know next year these won't be the same ones they might have Ron and Hermione and all of them but they might not be these same four and a half foot ones and people might be looking for these to go with the ones they bought this year so let's keep an eye out for that kind of stuff y'all at Walmart when it goes on clearance and next up is a lot of two memory cards. These are Mad Cat's memory cards for the uh, Nintendo GameCube. I just picked up a GameCube the other day at a Salvation Army that had three memory cards. One was a Nintendo card and the other two were Mad Cat's. And these things sold for $16 with free shipping over on Mercari. And our next item is a CB radio. This is a Uniden or Uniden, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but it's a Pro 
510 XL. It does not have the bracket. It does not have the mic. It does have the cord with the fuse, but it doesn't have the connector on the end of it. Um, it's just a bare bones radio. I picked up, um, there was two or three of these. There was, let's see, there was three radios. Um, this one didn't have anything with it. And the other two had mics with them. So I was able to test all of them, make sure they worked. And then I, I separated them all. But I also picked up a brand new unit and still in the box. And I sold that over on Amazon a while back. Well, in all four radios, I had $10. So I had $2.50 in this one. And I made all my profit on the first one I sold on Amazon. But this one here sold for $21 with free shipping on Mercari. It won't cost me but, you know, maybe eight bucks or something to ship this thing. Probably a little bit more since uh, USPS is up to rates for Christmas. But, um, yeah, going to make plenty of profit off that. Um, I probably actually made my $10 back off of just this one. And um, my last item is a Nintendo DS game. And I, I mentioned it before, but I picked up a small um, canvas like zip up bag. It's a Nintendo DS carrying case. And it actually had two games in it. And this is one of them. And this one sold for $8 with free shipping. Um, these little DS games, if I don't have a case for them or anything, I just take and put a little bit of bubble wrap around them and then stick them in one of these little bitty uh, bubble mailers here. And I did the same thing with those Mad Cats uh, memory cards too. And we really didn't have a whole lot of uh, big sales today. We had a couple decent ones, you know, those Harry Potter things. But then we had a bunch of little ones like the memory cards and the little DS game. And here's another one. This is, a, uh, this is like one of those bread and butter items. You pick up a whole bunch of these things and a lot at a yard sale for like 10 bucks like I did this one. Or it may even been five bucks. I don't know. But, you know, I sold some SingStar microphones and stuff a while back that came out of this lot. And this is another one. Um, I would say I have 50 cent in this PlayStation 2 game. It's ABBA SingStar. And it sold for $8.99 with free shipping. Next up is a part out item. Um, we buy bread makers whenever we can find them for cheap that still have these loaf pans in them. And sometimes they'll have the loaf pan and they'll have um, the paddle in them. And if we can find them for like five bucks or something, we will buy the bread maker, take the parts out of it that we know will sell and we'll throw the rest of it away. Well, this is one of those items, y'all, that you can part things out and make money. This, this bread maker uh, pan... It's a Hitachi brand. It sold for $11.99, and the buyer is paying the priority shipping on it. And y'all know I'm going to make a buck or so off of the priority shipping on the back end. So be on the lookout for that stuff, y'all. Um, you know, somebody's got a bread maker you're throwing away, or you see a bread maker at a yard sale for three or four bucks, type in that model number on eBay and see if you can sell this pan or the paddle or the belt or a pulley off of it or something. And... I mean, why not? It, it's amazing to me how how two things sell on the same day from the same lot. It, it amazes me. But this right here is one of those. That same PlayStation 2 lot I bought. There's two games right here. Um, this is SingStar Pop and Pop Volume 2. And like I said, I probably got 50 cent in each one of them. These two sold for $15.99 with free shipping. And this one right here, y'all, this is a great one right here. I think I picked this up on Whatnot a while back. I probably got like $2 in this shirt. But it is a it is a vintage shirt, and it's got a bunch of stuff going for it. Um, it it's a Jack Daniels Field Tester um, work shirt. It's an extra large, so that's a great size. And it's already distressed. You know, it's old enough that it's got a little bit of fade to it. It's got enough wear to it, and it's got some crinkling in the graphics and stuff, and it's on a Delta cotton tag made in the USA. Um, that's a lot of things going for this shirt. I'm surprised that it stayed so long, actually. I, I can't believe I had it this long. But it sold for $15.99 with free shipping. These things ship for a little over 4 bucks, y'all. 
Um, and like I said, I probably got $2 in it. <laughs> this is a great name uh, to look out for. Um, if you've been watching for a while, you've seen me sell some of these shirts. Um, I, I try to pick up Foot Joy shirts whenever I can find them. But I also try to pick up these Peter Millar shirts when I can find them. Uh, the Peter Millar and in, in these like summer comforts are a lot like the Foot Joy um, apparel shirts, the Polo Active shirts. And um, this one, I wouldn't say it had a whole lot going for it. I mean, it is a Peter Millar and it's a size medium. I mean, large and extra large seem to sell better. But this one actually has some embroidery on it and it says Whistling Straits. Um, I'm sure that is that is probably some golf club that I know absolutely nothing about. But <laughs> my wife paid $7.99 for this shirt. I'm not sure where she got it. But um, it sold for $28.37 with free shipping. So plenty of money made right there. And most of this stuff is easy to ship, man. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Um, we were at a yard sale uh, some time ago, and they had these little boxes of these uh, interesting 3D puzzles. And I think we had like a daisy, a mini, and... Or maybe there was two minis. I don't remember. But anyways, it's made by a company called Be Puzzled. And it is a original 3D crystal puzzle. It's red and it's a mini mouse. And we bought all three of those for three bucks. So we had a dollar each in those things. And this one sold for $14.95 with free shipping. And I think one of the old ones, other ones sold for like $16.99 or $17.99. And the person that bought this actually reached out to me and asked me if I had a pink one also, but I did not. All right, and here's something you probably, you may not ever see me sell again. I have no idea. And I'm glad that the price is still on the bottom of it because I had forgotten what I paid for this thing, y'all. But it's a bowling pin. I have never sold a bowling pin before. Actually, this is the only one I've ever bought. Um, I found this at a Goodwill sitting up on a top shelf and it just looked different to me. So I pulled it down and looked at it. And on the bottom of it, it says 319. That's what I paid for it. And you see it has the AMF logo on the back. It is a ABC 2001 Championships Tournament 98th year of competition. I don't know if this, I don't think it was a trophy. I guess it's just like a commemorative item or something. But like I said, I paid $3.19 for it. It sold for $29.96 with free shipping. Um, I can probably put that in a priority um, shoebox. I think that's how I'll do it. And this is another item that still has the price tag on it. This is a Walmart clearance item. It's some Legos and they're Super Mario. Super Mario Legos are an awesome one to keep your eye out for because people collect these things, which people collect a lot of different Legos, but Super Mario is a big one. Um, and the tag on it says $7. And this was back in February we bought this apparently because the tag on it says February 2nd. But seven bucks, it sold for $23.99 with free shipping. And last up is an item that I didn't really think would sell for this price. And I've had it for a little while. Um, I probably got 50 cent in this VHS tape right here, y'all. It is Laurel and Hardy Comedy Classics Volume 2. I don't even have Volume 1 to go with it. Um, and this is from 1987, and it is used. It's not a new silver one or anything. And this thing surprisingly sold for $9.99 with free shipping. Um, and I will tell you, there's a couple different ways you can ship this. You can ship this media mail, um, and I'm not sure what the media mail price is now, but it, it can take like up to like 10 days for them to get it. Or, for just a few cent more, you can ship this thing first class. I'm going to look and see what the difference is. If it's only a few cent, I'm going to ship it first class because they're going to get it a whole lot quicker. But, that's what's going out today, y'all. Um, not a whole lot as far as money goes. That was $179.25 over on eBay. And if I can find that Remington Curler thing, it was about $71 over on Amazon. And it looks like about 193 
over on Mercari. Didn't have any sales on Poshmark, and that's fine. Um, I have nowhere near as many items listed on Poshmark. Y'all, I got a bunch of stuff to pack up, and I got to look a little bit more for them curlers, I guess. So thank y'all for being here. Thank you to all my uh, current subscribers and to any new subscribers that have come on. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're up here and you came over from uh, Chris's channel, The Old School Picker, um, please give him a sh please give him a shout out and a, a big thank you for me for recommending my channel. And if you've never heard of Chris the Old School Picker, go over there and check him out, y'all. He's got some great insight. He's uh, he's a great guy. He's got some great picking skills and he's got some great selling skills. He's got plenty of information to give you. So go check him out, y'all. All right, I'm gonna get at it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. All right, y'all. Welcome back in the shed. It is Sunday evening and I've just got finished with supper, and right before that, I was on a live over on uh, Old School Pickers' channel. Chris and his wife, Shannon, had a, uh, a live chat tonight with a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of members only over there, and there were a bunch of other resellers in there um, learning from each other, and we were mainly asking Chris and Shannon questions about their channel, their life, um, you know, um, and how they do eBay and and all kinds of stuff. But anyways, just doing some networking, connecting with other people, trying to figure out better ways to do things and, you know, what works better for each one of us. But I had a great time up there. I appreciate Chris and Shannon putting that on. And um, if y'all get a chance, go over there and check out Chris, the old school pickers channel. All right. And um, with that being said, we are now going to talk about the pitiful sales that we had this weekend. Like I said, it's Sunday evening. So these sales are for Saturday and Sunday. And y'all, I only have nine things going out of here. And one of these actually sold on Friday, but it didn't make the cut because um, we had already packaged everything up and the person didn't pay until the next day. And the person that did buy that was actually a repeat buyer, and they've actually bought two things from me before. So I don't know if they are a viewer of the channel or what, but if they ever see my channel, I just want to tell them thank you for being a repeat customer on my eBay uh, store. I really appreciate that. But we're going to start off with our one sale over on Amazon, and it's one that my wife just listed a couple of days ago. She found this at a local Goodwill for $10. And I have never heard of this name before, but it is, li I don't know if it's Live Scribe or Live Scribe, but it is a carrying case and it's brand new, never been opened. And I really don't know anything about it. It says works with all Live Scribe smart pens. So I don't know y'all, but I, I guess you store some kind of pen in it. I have, I have no idea, but I know she paid ten dollars for it, and it sold for thirty-four dollars and ninety-eight cent on Amazon. Next up, I have a person that bought two items from me over on Macari. So this is actually going to save me shipping. These are small items, and I won't say we paid like fifty cent each for these at a yard sale. Um, we didn't find much of that sale. Just a couple of hats and like and three of these belt buckles. And this person paid $11 each for these. Like I said, we only had like 50 cent in them. But at least I don't have to pay the shipping twice. So I'm, I'm happy that they're buying two. But it is two belt buckles. It's 1990 and 1991. It's some kind of national, um, national rodeo finals. I don't know, y'all. And on the front of it says Heston... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. F-I-A-T-A-G-R-I. -I. I have no idea. But these things are brand new, and they still have the little um, the little paper that came with it. I know nothing about these things, y'all. And I'm just proving right now that you don't have to know anything about this stuff to sell it. Um, $22 right there with free shipping sold on Macari. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, that was the best live I've ever been on on uh, YouTube because I made two sales on eBay while I was up there. So that was awesome. And we're getting right to go over those two sales right now. 
And these my wife my wife picked up a while back straight from Scentsy um, on the Scentsy store um, online. And these things were being phased out, I guess. Um, they are Jack and Sally Scentsy Buddies. And I've sold some of these before. I don't know if y'all have seen the video. But she actually takes a scent packet for Sally and puts in it. And a scent packet for uh, Jack and puts in there. She paid $20 each for these. So $40. Bucks. Um, these things sold for $75 and the buyer's paying shipping. And y'all know I am going to ship these priority. And I'm probably going to make some money off of the shipping. Yep, the buyer of Jack and Sally paid $12.75 for priority mail shipping. Y'all, we're going to pay $9 for that. So that is $3.75 made just off of shipping. So, um, like I said, always, I keep harping on it, you can make money off of your shipping if you do calculated shipping. So, don't forget that. All right, and now the other thing that sold while I was on that live was this grease gun right here. This is a mini grease gun with the grease, um, and I picked this up at a yard sale. It's old. It's been sitting around for a while. Um, this thing is actually from 2002, so 20 years old, never been opened. That's crazy, right? But it sold for $19.94, and I think I have like a dollar in that. I, yeah, I picked it up at a yard sale, y'all. A buck turned into $20. And we've had this piece here for a while. It is a Tupperware piece, and I had never seen one like it before, but um, apparently my mom had. She, she had said something about it. But this thing right here is a Tupperware... Let's see if I can find a number on it. 5409A-2. I don't know. It's some kind of, I guess, microwavable Tupperware thing. I have no clue, y'all. But keep your eye out for this because it's a good one. $17.50 and the buyer is paying priority shipping on that. I'm sorry. They're not paying priority shipping. They are paying first class shipping. And this right here is ridiculous. Why in the world they are paying $9.75 for first class is beyond me. Um, that's more like a priority meal. That that doesn't even make any sense. eBay has me paying only $5.82 for that shipping. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, either I'm going to offer them a little bit of a refund for that, or I'm going to ship this thing priority. Let's see how much it would be if I change it to priority. Yeah, if I change it to priority, I still only pay $7.78 and they're paying $9.75. I think I'll probably do that um, because that, that's just not fair to them. I, I feel like that's, I feel like that calculated shipping's got to be off. But yeah, we'll probably do that. We'll probably up it, send it priority so they get it sooner and they should be happy with that. Now, these next three items are items that I have recently put on promotion. You can go, you can um, do promoted listings up there, and you can choose anywhere from 2% promotion up to, I guess, 100 if you really wanted to. I don't know why you ever would. But I'm trying to move some stuff that's been around here for a while, and I'm also trying to drum up some sales because, y'all, eBay has been slow for me here lately. So... I, prom I promoted this Jeff Gordon gift pack. It's called a framed art pack. I think that's what it is. But um, it's got three cars, and this thing is old. This thing is from 2002. So 20 years old, brand new in the package. I got this in a huge lot of Gordon stuff a while back, and I am the profit on that. So I made money back, and I made some off of it, and now I'm just trying to offload the rest of it. So if I make four or five dollars off of each piece that is fine with me and this one sold for $12.75 and the buyer is paying priority shipping for it and um, not only are they paying the shipping but they're paying $13.65 for that shipping and my price is $9.94 so I mean I, I'll, I'll keep harping on it y'all no three dollars made on shipping this next sale was a promoted listing and it is a Christmas ornament from 2010, 
It is Reed and Barton. I don't know if y'all have ever heard that name. You know, I find a lot of like Hallmark keepsakes, keepsake stuff, but these Reed and Bartons also sell. Um, I don't find near as many of these though. These things are made in the USA. And this is a silver plated bale from 2010. And it sold for $19.99 with free shipping. And like I said, that was a promoted listing. And lastly, another promoted listing. This is the one that actually sold Friday, um, and it took the person over 24 hours to pay. And we have like 75 cents or so in all these things we picked up. And this is another one of our garden flags. And I don't know if it's all going to fit in the frame, but we will try. This is an awesome snowman, y'all. Check that out. I don't know if y'all can see all that. But it's not a perfectly rectangular one. It actually has the scarf that hangs down here on the bottom too. That's an awesome flag. It's in great shape. I, and I don't I don't know how old it is. Um, the tag on it doesn't say. It just says made in China. But that's an awesome one right there, y'all. And I, I'm surprised it didn't sell for more. Um, I probably could have upped it. But I've had some of these things for a while and it's in season so now is the time to sell it if you're going to sell it um, this sold for $14.24 with free shipping and like I said it was a promoted listing so um, I have seen a lot of people mentioning promoted listings here lately and Chris the old school picker who I was talking about at the beginning of this video um, he he in that live tonight, he said he promotes pretty much everything. And there were some other folks in that live saying that they they promote everything in their store 5%. That probably would get a whole lot more uh, purchases in your store. And I'm actually thinking about it. Like from now on, it, all of my items that I can get for like a buck or so at a yard sale that are going to sell for $20 or so, I might do that 5% ad on uh, on eBay. Tell me your thoughts on it. What would you do? Comment down below. Um, I think it might be a great way to drum up some sales, and especially with the way eBay has been recently, um, it might be something that I have to do. And I wanted to ask that question in the live tonight. You know, do resellers think that promoted listings are going to be something that is going to be the norm? Are we going to have to promote those listings up there? Um, it, it's something I'm kind of I'm kind of worried about because eBay makes a lot of money off of that, and it seems like they're starting to push that. And it seems like you're not getting many sales. And from what I'm seeing from others, you're not getting many sales unless you are doing promoted listings. So, y'all. We're going to see how it works out. I promoted a whole lot more stuff this week. And um, right there you see what came from it was three sales. So I'm going to keep at it. And I'm going to just keep doing a little research with it. Adding a few more things promoted. And see if they start to sell. If they do, I'm probably going to do some more promoted listings. Um, research from all these people show that if you spend a little bit more money, you make a little bit more money. And it's kind of like that. Out in, the, out in the real world. I say the real world. I guess eBay is the real world. But um, that's what I got for y'all tonight. I appreciate you being here. All my new subscribers, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you doing that. You're helping my channel out. I'm trying to get this thing up to uh, 500 subscribers so I can give something else away around here. Um, just thank y'all for being here. Any comments down below are appreciated. Ask questions. I'm happy to answer them. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.